Poor old Nick here had a bit of a run-in with a car somewhere near Ludlow and obviously he came off worse in the encounter. And this is about as close as most of us are going to get to seeing a wild otter in the Midlands. But that's starting to change thanks to some dedicated people and also a little bit of technology. This is where I put the camera, David, here, because we're looking down at a, a sprinting site. I'd spotted some uh, tracks in the sand when we were doing some work in the woodland here, which I thought were otter. I didn't know much about the animal, and so I took some measurements and some photographs and realised that, in fact, yes, they were otters, so it made me want to learn more. So, having found the footprints, it was time to turn to technology to catch the otters on video. A motion-sensitive camera recording the otter action in five-second bursts. And here's the result. Wild Midlands otters caught on camera and making their Midlands Today debut. It seems that for most of the time, the otters are solitary. The males seem to have a much larger home range and they might overlap with perhaps two or even three females. So from time to time, obviously, the, the, the male will come in and search out the females. I imagine we're on one home range of one otter, but possibly with others visiting from time to time. But I can't be certain of that. To catch an otter, you have to think like one. So place the camera near good quality water full of food, near banks of dangly vegetation with roots to hole up in, and far from disturbance and humans. That also means no one will nick your camera. I've left the camera in various places and I've collected now quite a bit of footage which I've been able to put together to make a small movie. And of course in so doing I've learnt more about the otters, what time they come at night, uh, which way they're going and uh, learnt much more about what happens at the sprinting sites. For more than a decade I've been reporting the great news about our growing otter population without actually ever seeing one myself. But thanks to Rosemary's dedication, here they are at last.